And we're back with some more Rimworld. And yeah, we're me cleaning up the mess from the last time. That horde really did a number on us. A whole bunch of our people are injured. Oh, what the hell? The Outlanders are fleeing. Oh yeah, our uh, our old home base has still got random stuff happening in it. I kind of want to get rid of it anymore. No, I, I don't really see a point in keeping it anymore. Hopefully they'll change the quests we get as well. Uh, you know what, I'll leave it for this episode, but after this I'm going to scrap it unless anyone comes up with any plans for it, because from what I can see it's not really worthwhile keeping. For now though, we're replacing these walls with uh, jade. We've got enough jade to do it, and once it's in, the jade is fireproof so we can, well, molotov this mess outside. There's just too many bodies. I mean, I can't take it anymore. What are we up to right, right now? Okay, no, there's more than 2,000. I'm, I'm positive there's more than 2,000. I think we've just hit the cap on what that's allowed to select. Yeah, there's 2,073 corpses on this map. The team have done an incredible job, but I'm afraid we're going to have to wipe the scorecard so that we can keep scoring. Yeah. You know. Anyway, to uh, fix the problem of dying so horribly to that almost, uh, I think we're going to stick in a gun turret over here to cause the enemies to pop out of each other. I've done some testing in the background on a test map, and I think I know how I can prevent this horrible thing from happening again. All right, so it's time for the grand plan, as how we're going to deal with, you know, the enormous raids that are going to come at us and try and kill us. And it's to do with these turrets that are walled in over here. Well, doored in. Yeah, let's see what kind of raid hits us. It sounds like a big one depend Oh god, that's lagging for a really long time. Oh, well, you know, a big one or not, we should be able to handle it, assuming this mechanic works out as intended. Seriously? Okay, that's way too long. Y you can't pause that long. Wow, they're incredibly close. I was hoping Ali would have a little bit more time to finish that turret. But, uh, no, she should have time. Probably. Good lord, they're close. Enemies. All right, 474. That's that's not that bad. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're going to get the rest of the team, and we're going to line them up in our... Okay, like, our kill box area is a little bit littered at the moment, but we'll fix that later. It's just for the time being, we're trying desperately not to die. Give me one second while I get the team sorted. All right, team inbound. Now, over here, our enemies are... What are they doing? Oh, they're preparing for a while. Well, that's... Fine, if they want to go hang out somewhere, then we have a couple of mortars we can introduce them to that I'm sure would be more than happy to uh, make their day. Alright everyone, get off the line. That'll give Ali time to finish that, and we'll get a couple of shooters over here to lay down some accurate bombardment. Mortars loaded, people ready, target rich population identified. Uh, smack bang there in the middle, hold fire removed, and let's see just how much damage they can do with two mortar rounds. Come on, here they come. Accuracy is good. Accuracy is really, really... Oh, yeah. That's super good accuracy. Jesus. Okay. How many is that? 53 kills? 54? Oh, my God. Well, let's, uh... Check. Oh, wait, no. Some of those are older corpses. Let's just say 50. Yeah, good, a good 50 hits. Go reload those mortars. We're going to have to build some more of those. That might take a minute. Oh. Left ice on the front line. Oops, and why are you on the front line too? All of you get back to work, it'll be fine. Alright, we'll uh, we'll hit them with another dose of mortars, see if they like that, though they'll probably start moving shortly. Oh my god, there's so many of them bleeding. Let's see if we zoom in a bit more. Yeah, it's about 53. A whole bunch of them are going to be injured as well. What are you two smiling about? Stop it. Here comes the next couple of rounds, and... Oh, I am liking the new updates to mortars. Especially when you've got shooters this good. Oh, a little bit of a miss, but... Yeah, we still got something with that one. That is... 100 corpses? Dear lord. Okay, say 95. Check the numbers mod here. How are we looking on enemies? 376? I'm gonna call that good. Just uh, load the back up. I doubt you get a chance to get off a uh, another couple of rounds, but that definitely helps sh soften the blow. I do believe we're getting off some more mortar shots. That's... unlikely. Okay, if you guys want to stand still a little bit longer, we'll be sure to drop in a couple more mortar shells. Oh, damn it, that's a not a great a shot. That one, however. Yep, I think we got a few. So that's about 117 kills, and we didn't even have to leave the base. That is some just incredible work, everyone. All right, let's get everyone lined up in the kill box, and we can see if our little unblobbing mechanism works. All right, the team are getting together and the blob is approaching. Now, the moment it hits here, what should happen is they'll sort of sense this minigun turret, but only, or steel mini, mini turret through the door. So long as the door is there, they're fine. In fact, let's actually lock those to stop anyone going in there. 
when anyone accidentally dropping something in those doorways. So what should happen is the moment they get to there, they should slow down and... Yeah, you can see them already popping out of each other before they even get within range. That gives us the advantage. Before, what was happening was they were forcing their way in as massive blobs, and then suddenly they'd pop out of each other and they'd force themselves on top of us, and there was nothing we could do. Now, now it's their turn to get mowed down mercilessly. Well, not like that they haven't been doing that already, but you know, but more mercilessly this time around. All right, everyone lined up. Yeah, we got a lot of injured people, but that's fine. That's fine. I think we got this. Oh, should I clear those stones out? Mm. You know what? I somehow think that won't be too much of a problem. Uh, you can pop the marksmanship command. Got to be sloppy about this. Yeah, I'm thinking that's working. I'm thinking that's working pretty well. What are they doing? They seem to be having difficulty getting by that corner. Hey, the longer it takes them to get by, the more time we have to fire bullets. I'm okay with that. Oh, don't hide behind that tree. You're just gonna kill the tree. And don't hide behind the rocks. You're just gonna kill the rocks. Anything you hide behind, we will destroy. There, there were questions like, why don't I chop down all the trees and set fire to them? But I, I would love to. That would, would we, do, we, we just need time to do such things. However, at the same time, I'm thinking we won't need to set fire to the trees. We have a uh, alternative tree cutting methodology that has been in, used before, and it's uh, it's quite useful at stopping trees from becoming a problem in such a scenario. I'm going to call that a rousing success, and by rousing excess, I mean success they got all slaughtered. How? Some of them dropped pemmican. When did that start happening? Maybe when the crowds get big enough, but I don't remember them dropping pemmican before. Smoke leaf, yes. Ambrosia, yes. Jade, yes. But pemmican, no. Hmm. Weird. Also, that was Mitchell's first time back on the line since, you know, they died. They seem to have recovered quite well. Uh, as well as that Sean Byog is currently queued up for an operation. They lost their arm in that last fight, uh, so yeah, we're gonna get them. We we've got another one. We've got a few bionics left in storage that I have to assign out, and, like, we've got a joy wire as well. A little prosthetic arm. Where's all the rest? I'm pretty sure I bought some bionics also. Oh yeah, bionic leg, bionic leg, bionic arm, bionic leg, oh, bionic arm. We'll, we'll assign those out to people as needs be. But, uh, those, those little turrets to just encourage them to pop out first saved our bacon because they don't come in in a big blob we're able to mow them down like crazy now time to have some skulls and start ourselves a little bit of a fire also our yeah we gotta t stick those other bodies in the fridge i'm chopping up as quick as i can but it's just i think i need more kitchen people as we set fire to our corpse pile i should probably take a quick note of how many we got up to 2379 corpses that has got to be a record got to be a record somewhere. Well, at least for the colonies I've run. I don't think I've ever had this stupid an amount of destruction. Well, they've done a wonderful job. Now, hopefully we can burn most of this down so that we can make room for fresh corpses. Problem is, the game's kind of lagging out a bit, and I don't think it's going to get much better, especially with the amount of corpses we've already got. Uh, you put that over there. Yeah, I'm going to try and start as much of a fire as I possibly can before the rains come down. Turns out the rains come down real quick around here. God damn it. I'm going to have to roof in this place or do something so that we can, you know, oh, cut down a little bit of corpse. Who's... The, the, oh, a prisoner. Well, prisoner fight. Come on, who's got... Ooh, melee skill of nine. And you, and you got off the first hits. Oh, you picked on Grumpy Gran. That's a problem. I'm afraid it's execution time for you. Well, the moment you can walk again. Uh, hold on. Sean, are you still out? Oh, damn it. Anesthetic sedated. I really wish someone with a, a monosword was around here right now. Eh, uh, one second while we grab a few people here. We're going to have a want to have a word with them about picking on their very elderly and very nice gran. Come on. All right. Once you're better, it's execution time for you, I'm thinking. Ooh, now the next part of our test comes up. Sappers. It looks like they want to tunnel around your defenses. Now, sappers, it seems, have... a. 0.6 multiplier, which is why they were so much smaller. There's only about 240. Let's see. Enemies. 316. Well, okay, I suppose we did hire some more colonists since, and that's kind of skewing the numbers a bit. Uh, let's see where they go. And let's see if any of them are worth hiring, actually. We're, we're in the mood to hire people, and we've got Wasp, who's a tough trigger-happy. Nothing else, just tough and trigger-happy. Good at shooting. Plants, animals, do we really care? I mean, the only thing they're incapable of is social. 
I think we hire them if we get a chance. Why not? If they end up up front, we'll grab them. That was a odd one. I almost let our miners die. Oops. Doesn't matter. We'll let these do two doors close behind them. They should be fine. Anyway, the moment they hit, go by this door, shouldn't they pop out of each other? Well, there's a turret on the opposite side of it, so they shouldn't be able to stay inside each other. Also, there's questions as to why we don't just man the mortars now and start just lobbing mortar shells at them. Well, you can miss by a bit and destroy your walls, as well as that you got to aim ahead of them and there's always a chance you're not going to nail anything. I mean, desperation-wise, it can be an, an option, but for us, I think we'll be fine for now. All right, is that... Wow, are they all close combat? Oh my god, they are all close combat. Hmm. I've got rid of the other door here, so there's only one door this section, and Grumpy Grandma, I'm afraid we're going to have to move your bed. Uh, in fact, we're going to move bag's bed as well just to get them out of the way maybe give ourselves a little bit more room to deal with this uh, incoming raid yeah you can go over there if there's any problems with their uh, our new gun turrets for popping people out of each other oh, that roof collapses back their home base we can always retreat back behind these marble walls or jade walls which have 150 hit points which is actually worse than wooden walls ah yes our base it's uh, beautiful to look at just incredibly poorly designed for killing well not the colonists inside, of course. Those colonists are amazing. All right, we already have the marksmanship command from the last fight still active, so we don't even need to turn one on. I mean, the thing is, the attacks happen usually less than every 24 hours, so we usually have plenty of time to get, well, two attacks dealt with with one marksmanship command. Nice. And your marksmanship command is now hitting everyone. Come on. What are you doing? It's like they're confused. Is that one digging through the wall? Well, that could be mildly awkward. It gives them another avenue of exit entrance, but they still have to go past the turret. Oh, God. No, they're not popping out of each other. Uh, right, it's time to start retreating people. God damn it. Retreating edge people first. We're going to try and get as many kills off as we can before that happens. Ah, they're popping out of each other. There might be hope. Come on. Don't stop shooting them. Oh, grenades would also be wonderful at this point. Now, not going to forget this time. Some of our casters, Miko here, has Berserk Pulse. I had completely blanked I had that. Tiny short range thing, but if we got to retreat back inside and oh my god, they're not popping out of each other there. What is going on? That's supposed to cause them to pop. Is it... Is it because they have the doors off limits? I have no idea. In testing, that should have worked. Oh my god, I don't know what's going on. But I really do not like how much they're blobbing up. Uh, hmm. Let me think for a second. Okay, Miko, what we need to do is get you a jump jet pack. Who's got one? Joel, drop the pack. Just drop it. Right now. Drop the pack. And uh, Miko, hold fire for now. Now I want you to force equip the jump pack. Come on. Your lord is going to take a while. Seriously, a little bit faster if you wouldn't mind, Joel. Here you go. Ooh, okay. Okay, so I suppose one invisibility and one berserk pulse is all we get out of this. Fine, invisibilize. Uh, jump jet pack. Here should be plenty good. What is going on with them? Why are they doing this weird... Thing. I, I don't know why they're blobbing up in that way, rude way. Yeah, there's good. Yep. That. That looks like it hurt. Ooh. Hmm. I'm thinking a lot of them are about to kill each other. But I'm thinking Miko needs to get out of dodge. Miko, just uh, retreat there, please, buddy. You've done excellent work. All right. That should hopefully cut down on the problems we experience. I don't even think this raid was... Oh, it was a sapper raid. Well, the sappers will cut through the walls, it seems, so... Hmm, we might want to be more careful about placing turrets. Maybe placing another turret over here or something to have. Oh, actually, no, that might be a bad idea. I'm kind of okay with this. I think what's happened is the sappers bug out with their AI and they keep bouncing back and forward, and that's what buys us so much time with them. If that gives us time to mow down hundreds of them, I'm more than happy to let them do that. Well, that went about as well as can be expected for us. Uh, I was kind of disappointed they didn't charge at us. It would have been a little bit more exciting, but, you know, probably better that they didn't. 
Skulls set to be harvested. Uh, we're going to need to fill up our fridge as well. And I'm thinking now that we've actually stabilized. And I think this defense that we've got set up is going to work, hopefully. Then I think we can finally start scrapping weapons for steel, which means we're going to need some smelters in here. Well, well, well. A quest has come up. The Empire is making a request that we take care of two groups of tribespeople from the Kin League of Cambia. The, the exact same crowd we've been slaughtering mercilessly for the past god knows how many days. Uh, they'll send in like four or five hundred tribals. Oh no! <laughs> Though I don't know where they're going. Are they going to attack us here? Are, are they going to attack us at our home base? It doesn't actually list a location. Hmm. But well, we're definitely accepting it. The 12 honor, we need that so we can get someone to trade with the Empire. Otherwise, we'll never get ourselves any meat beacons. I'm thinking we give it to Magnus, namely because they're an ascetic. We don't have to worry about them complaining about not getting the right throne room and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm thinking this is the one to give it to. All right, Magnus, you're about to accept this quest. Eh, where is it? Magnus Leiden, the Freeholder. Yeah, go for it. Actually, do you already have some? Hmm. Perfect. That makes it even easier. Once we get them tonight as well, they can start trading. And oh my god, it's still raining. Fine, fine. We better get rid of some of these weapons off the field. Our next attack should hopefully be any second down. I'm thinking of sort of skipping through the attacks a little bit faster because I think they're all going to end up the same way. Unless Randy manages to find some way to really hurt me, which I wouldn't put it past him. Randy keeps finding ways to hurt me no matter what I do. Okay, there's the raid. Wait, why is Lightwave summoned in? Oh, damn it. That's actually good. I just brought them back from a caravan and completely forgot about them. That is bad. Uh, you should probably come back inside immediately. Ooh, that could have went so much worse. Ooh. Okay, you. Uh, just, uh, yeah, go back to work. Uh, we'll zone everyone inside. And raid-wise, what are we looking at? Attacking immediately. Uh, they're going to avoid your turret's field of fire. Well, that's fine by me. And how many of them is there again? Oh god, the game is really chugging. Okay, 385, and a bunch of them are still injured. Oh, and this time i got to remember to try and capture... Ooh, a t jogger? How? How did you get by? Infection, major. Well, yeah, I don't think you're you're going to survive, buddy. Pity. Actually, you know what? Nah, that's fine. We, we don't need any more artists anyway. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's chatting. More killing. Our enemies are just about to hit the kill octagon. Yeah, the kill octagon. <laughs> Uh, they're coming in under the roof section. That actually slows them down quite nicely as well. Oh, that reminds me I should uh, pop the marksmanship command. They appear to have a mix of weapons, is it? Or is it? Yeah, so they've got a mix of weapons. We should just mow them all down horrifically. Especially considering they're all popping out of each other due to the turret trick. That turret trick is just a lifesaver. And they're setting fire to our walls at the rear. Well, it is raining, so... I think we'll be fine on that front. Starting fires in the middle of a... Was it a rainstorm? Probably not a good idea. I think we can just skip this forward. This is just going to be a whole bunch of slaughterage again. I'm, I'm not saying I feel sorry for them yet, but I'm getting to that point where I might almost be feeling sorry for them. I would show this fight in its entirety, but it, it's kind of slow. As you can see, things are moving at a glacial speeds. The game can't really handle this many units trying to path at the same time. Yeah, this is going to take a while, isn't it? What we can do, though, is have a quick look at the stats. How are our colonists doing on kills? Oh, would you look at that? One centurion, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen pawns have already crossed the centurion mark. Two have crossed the double centurion, and I'm pretty sure Tessex is going to join them shortly. And Carol is way out in front with a triple. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, well, we'll let them just uh, keep doing what they're doing. Everyone is also maxing out their shooting training. Reason being, it just takes so long to kill everything. Look at that. Max learned it. Give me someone who hasn't actually got a, a passion in shooting. Yeah, there we go. Somebody who's got no passion for it, and still, they've maxed out their learning for the day. Ah, just the sound of bullets every morning. I feel like the name Corpse Explosion should be somewhere in the name of this base, though. It, it just doesn't quite have a, a nice ring to it. Holy Christ, there's just so many bodies. We still haven't got a chance to burn them all. What are we up to? Oh, wait. I just... Let's have a quick look at our corpse collection. Eh, where are we? Where are we? 2,673. Jesus. 
you know, if it stops raining, we'll go collect. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely burn the lot. In fact, we can burn some of the area over here because we've got Molotovs and a roof down. Now that we have our smelters up and running, it's time to stock our smelters. Simplest thing to do for that is we want to dump spears. Namely because of all the weapons down here that give, uh, well actually they're not over here, they're somewhere else, but all the weapons we've found, spears are probably the best of the ones we're going to most commonly encounter. Warhammers would also be amazing, and swords, but they usually don't bring those. So what we want to do is put together a quick caravan, and then we want to pick up all of those spears that are lying around the place. With a little bit of fiddling around, we've got Tice loaded up with like almost 200 spears. Of course they can't carry them, but that's fine. That is fine. Turns out, Thice is incredibly strong when it comes to, you know, their legs. They never skipped leg day. So right now, even though their inventory, where is it? Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. Gave me the inventory. Even though their inventory is full of spears, they can still walk. Look at this. Like an absolute chad. Just no bothers at all on them. They're going to walk all the way over here, and they're going to dump all the spears right here. I think this is the best location to dump them all. Uh, actually, maybe back a little bit further. We don't want to accidentally explode them into this prison cells. Here comes Thice now. Thice for thighs of steel. Now. Yep, there you go. Good job. Then everyone can get to work smelting those up. The details of this is basically anyone can do it. It's set to go for infinity and we should be able to generate the necessary amounts of steel to continue with our plans. Also, I accidentally made Carl, instead of making them the shooting a DAC specialist, I made them an immoral guide. That was dumb. Caravan ambush. Well, that's not good. Okay, Outlanders. Okay. Oh god. Well, this is what we get for bringing along so many animals. Uh, are you animals trained to attack? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Well, that's bad. Hmm. Well, that's a big bowl of problems. How are we going to get out of these ones? Judging by the forces we are facing, which are substantial, um, Sean is in a lot of trouble. As in, you're probably doomed. <laughs> well, we may have a way out of this, but let's just say killing all of those on your lonesome is not really an option, Sean. That's just no way. No one is that good. However, we may be able to bring you some reinforcements. Uh, yeah, the team are being assembled as we speak. So, uh, sit tight. Hold down the fort. Uh, reinforcements are en route to your location as we speak. Please tell me they were just about ready to go. Okay, where is... Tessex. Uh, yes, that is perfect. Whew. Is that... Yeah, it's charging. Excellent. Okay, incoming, incoming, incoming. Ah, welcome to the party, pal. Surprise! <laughs> oh, you are so doomed. <laughs> Sean, introduce him to the team. The rest of you, there are two shield pops out there, Carrie and Veronica. I want them, if possible. I want you to capture those, if possible. That would be very nice. In fact, Veronica can immediately be taken. Right, uh, done. Uh, you. Yeah, I don't like auto shotguns. Like, no one likes auto shotguns, so I would like you to do things to them. Okay, where else? What else we got here? Hmm. No, no, no. No, no. Income. Siko, you've got Berserk Pulse and Visibility, a bunch of other things. Do you have anything that we can use right at this moment? No. Damn it. Though I would prefer if you were around the corner, so you're less likely to get shot. Oh, Sean Bielg just took his first skull. Damn, buddy. Good job. Okay, everyone else? You, uh, you know what? Turn down shorty there. That is perfect. Carrie's about to come around the corner. Do we have someone ready with a shock lance? Uh, no. No, come on. Seriously. One of you's got a shock lance. Ah, there we go. Psychic shock lance belonging to suborbital. You've got decent radius on that. Damn it! Well, that's problematic. Okay. 
Well, everything else is done. Seriously, how have you not killed that guy? You're the, the best minigunners in the universe. Okay, you go grab that one. And done. Perfect. Uh, Sean, get in there some more. You are doing just godly work right there. And with the rest of you, please, for the love of God, shoot the guy in the field called Fieldy who's shooting at us with a shotgun. Um, yeah, I'm thinking the rest of this is pretty good. Those two can't do anything to us. Those two are miles away. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, the shoot up pop is getting in the way there. You all get over there. That should allow you to do some serious damage. Oh, wow. You keep missing like crazy. Oh, my God. They're attacking our animals. You monsters. I have sent the animals to move elsewhere. I've told everyone else to maybe get a little bit closer inside the shield. Okay. Eh. Everyone else out here, come on. The more of them get from getting away, we can prevent the better. Okay, done. We took some injuries, but you know what? Worthwhile. To save Sean Biog, I mean, they, they've done us a lot of good over the years. Let's get the caravan back together and get out of here. Well, our team back home scrapped some steel. The, the corpse fire is burning itself out. Oh, trading. Excellent. Our weapon sales have, of course, gotten ridiculously out of hand. They want to pay us 45000 for what we've got. We, we've bought everything they got. Uh, we'll just take some grenadier armor, I suppose. Eh, we can grab a triple rocket launcher while we're at it, namely because we can afford it. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll confirm. They can keep the spares. It's not like we're going to be short on money anytime soon, considering that how things are going. Point two of a day to get back home. Next attack is in three hours. Oh, would you look at that? 2,498 corpses left. We definitely hit the 2,500 mark. Oh, do skills not burn? Uh, flammability 0%. Oh, that's amazing. So we can, like, harvest the skulls, burn away what's left, and then we'll just get skulls out. That's, uh, nice to know. Oh, that's a beautiful fire break. I just gotta get those rocks out of there. You know what? We're gonna haul some of these urgently just to make sure that they get gone. We, we don't want to leave any cover for our enemies. Okay, Carol Walls is a moral guide road is... A moral guide guide role is lost, but that's fine. They've become a DACA specialist again. Yes, excellent, excellent, excellent. Now we just got to make Mitchell back into the our guide again. Looks like we are going to be a little short on people for our next fight, but because everyone's out, the attackers should be smaller as well, though mm, I'd really prefer if we had overwhelming firepower. Well, let's see what the next five seconds will bring. Well, that didn't seem too bad. They will prepare for a while and then attack. Well, that's annoying. We have a caravan coming back and we don't want our caravan running into them. Oh wait, that's corpses. Uh, give me enemies. Enemies are looking at 205. Yeah, I'm thinking mortars are the way to go and we're going to have the team stop outside but not actually enter the tile. Now let's get a couple of shooters over to the mortars. We've only got four mortar shells left but soon we're going to have a nice supply of steel coming in. Thirty-four. That's not a bad killer, especially considering there was only two hundred to start. That's actually quite respectable. Ooh. Yeah, looks like that triggered them. Fifty-five kills. Yeah, I can imagine they're swearing for a reason. That guy looks totally evil. Whatever happened to him? Oh. Right eye and right ear are gone. Well, that would probably be why they look a little bit evil. Don't want to... Shame, 146 of them incoming, and we have... I think we got enough to take them. Yeah, we should be fine. I, I was tempted to try bringing our people back inside, the ones we have out in the caravan. Namely because they normally come in this side over here. That's just sort of where they've genuinely gra uh, generally gravitated towards, but I wouldn't put it past Randy to try and poison us at this last minute. All right, let's get uh, everyone into the kill box. Actually, no, we, we can wait a minute. It's going to take them a second or so to get around here. And here we go. Dealing with a half-size raid. Or dealing with a half-size raid with a half-size team. Oh, that is just a killing ground. There's no cover at all. Oh, beautiful. No, don't, don't shoot the skulls. We need the skulls for later. But they do seem remarkably resistant. Some of them are just doing a straight-shot charge. But I'm thinking 
I'm thinking, yeah, even with this small amount of a team, we can kill a lot of people all at once. Though it does help that a bunch of them are getting set on fire. Oops. Well, easy peasy. That actually worked out just beautifully. How many of them is there dead over here? Dear Lord, there's actually a few live, live ones as well. It's 68 taken out of the fight. I'm going to invest in a few more mortars, I think. Well, once we get this steel production properly up and running, let's bring the rest of the team home. Doesn't matter if they run into the enemies now, they'll just mow them down. All right, everyone, back to work. We got one injury out of that, Grumpy. Oh, Grumpy Grand, what happened to you? How did you get stabbed in the leg with a spear? Oh, that must be an old one. Never mind. Now that steel production is complete, and it's going strong, there's uh, quite a bit of steel going on there. We're also going to put down a biorefinery. Namely because, well, we can refine stuff from it. Uh, yeah, Jason has gone on to making some pants and things like that. We've got uh, an excess of leather lying about the place that we really do have to dispose of. Dear Lord, I'm not even sure what we can do with this. There's, there's not enough places left by to trade, nearby to trade with. We can trade here. We can't trade here because we don't have a knight yet. Uh, we could also trade with the Black Trobo tribe and we can trade with Godliness. I think we send out Sean, but we can't really overload them with stuff as, as we've seen, they will get ambushed and killed. I think... Yeah, I think we're going to have to fire over transport pods to do their, their shopping for them. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to send them at once. Uh, Sean, it's actually Sean held up. Well, once they've had a, a good night's sleep, we'll send them on their way again. Though we won't overload them. We'll wait till we get there and then fire out the human leather to help them out or to let their sales products. One other mod I installed was uh, no clothes when butchering. Just so that when we butcher these up, there's no clothing explosion out of them. Normally the clothes get left behind, but now it's destroyed on butchering. That's why we were doing the caravan trick earlier of taking, stripping all the clothing off them so it wouldn't contaminate up our, our fridge area. But if there's an actual mod to do it and it saves me a bunch of clicks, and I know I could do it with the clicks, ugh, I just prefer to install the mod and be done with it instead of wasting my time. Here comes our next set of customers. They look very motivated to buy every bullet we have. Uh, let's give them a discount, shall we? That is just depressingly large amounts of death right there. Dear Lord. Uh, numbers wise, what are we looking like on the prisoner, on the corpse count? 2,440. Jeez, we, we can't even keep it below replacement rate. Fine, we'll, we'll start another fire in a minute. Uh, on the centurion wise, we've just got one, two, three, four, five people who haven't hit it yet. And well, one of them is Alvarez, who doesn't have a minigun, which makes it really hard for them to score as many kills as everyone else is. Uh, oh, and Suborbital is currently suffering from a little bit of an illness. Hopefully this will clear it up, or the good medicine we give them. Now that we have chem fuel production sorted, we can now expand our power just a little bit. I'm thinking a couple of power plants over here would look kind of nice. Yeah, give me a couple of chem fuel generators. We can't get by entirely on... Oh, damn it. I need you to get out of the way. The, uh... Unstable power cells won't be able to help us out, well, won't be able to provide all of our power needs, so a little bit of chem fuel recycling should sort us out quite nicely. Ah, oh, it's teabag reached 12 in medical. Oh, they finished the operation. Oh yeah, Tessex lost a, a bone in their leg or something. They, they basically, their leg was useless, so we had to give them a bionic one. I gotta go through everyone and make sure no one's got any catastrophic injuries that require bionic replacements. I think there's a few. Some people are missing eyes as well. That's not a helping our accuracy rates, but so far... We haven't really noticed too much. That excess power will mean we can throw in a few extra machines onto our grid. I'm thinking next up we're going to want fabrication bench. The ability to produce components is going to be, well, important. And then once those two are done, we'll probably throw in another smelter. And then after that, we can start seeing about removing some of the unstable soil elements we've got around our walls. We're going to want to remove those and replace them with proper walls. Otherwise, you know, we're going to have problems in the future with someone trying to burn them down. Our next resource delivery is... Let's see, attacking immediately, breach your walls. Yeah, grand, whatever, don't care. Let's let's figure out how many there. are, that's all that really matters, isn't it? Uh, enemies, we have 252. I don't think that should be much of a problem whatsoever. Who's unhappy with their bedroom? Well, get used to it. Oh, and a yak is wandering away on our home base. You know what? Mm, yeah, that home base is still looking pretty unkempt. Actually, how's that quest looking? We have a quest. Yeah, four days they, like, arrive. It's been 2.9 days since we accepted. Well, let's uh, hurry up and deal with them. How's this crowd over here doing? You know what? Let's, uh, let's get everyone into the kill box and ready to start shooting. It looks like our enemies are 
Cutting through the walls. That's just vandalism, guys. That's, seriously, that's just vandalism. Come on. Like, it, it, oh, a third segment. How, how many wall segments do you want to break? You know I'm going to have to repair those when you're gone, right? Come on. Oh, seriously. Right, at least Crab has the decency to come forward and die. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see how much damage they do. Well, that took far too long. Alright, get the walls repaired. We've got another attack inbound in 16 hours, and I don't want them walking through that same gap. Oh, and look, we got some more, uh, some more jade. Excellent. How much are we up to? 302 jade, despite all that we've spent so far. Ah, uh, we'll be able to convert the whole base. Well, as soon as we get rid of that unstable terrain. Hmm. That's going to require a lot of components. Unfortunately, due to some mistakes on my part, I accidentally removed all our scrapping material from the area. That ability to just suck everything up into a caravan is just a little bit dangerous at times. Our next attack raid has arrived, and it looks to be sappers, and they're attacking, whatever, the middle of nowhere. I think it'll be grand. Let's see, Heavy Archer, Grandfather of Berserker, Lidoro. I think Lidoro may actually be one of the unluckiest pawns I've ever met. Where is it? If we, we go over to our prisoner here, uh, Lidoro, who's actually scheduled for execution the moment the execution ability comes off cooldown for what they've done to Grand Grand. Ah, uh, Grumpy Grand, I should say. However, if we go under their social, we'll notice that their lover is dead, their mother is dead, their father, sister, uh, grandfather's still alive. Aunt, uncle, ex-lover, great-grandmother, grand-aunt, oh, wait, no, grand-aunt's still alive, uh, oh, and their grand grand-aunt, well, one of their grand-aunts is dead. We've uh, somehow managed to annihilate most of their relatives, just sort of accidentally. But considering the amount of people of the same clan that we have annihilated, this doesn't seem that unusual, and... Where are you going? Go around. Go around. They don't look like they're going around. Uh, team. Get together. Uh, Tice is currently in the OR. They're getting a little bit of an operation. Uh, everyone right about there? Yeah, that should be fine. And get ready to pop a marksmanship. Are you going to the... Oh my god, they are actually going to the walls. Huh. This makes things more interesting. I thought we'd found the solution to all of our problems, but these are just regular raiders. They determine their own path into your colonies. They're not smart. Okay, so smart sappers will avoid the turrets and come in the front door, and then they'll get popped out here. Ones that aren't sappers and are just like going to straight up charge us, they will come towards us this direction, but they'll pop out of each other due to the presence of these turrets. So that saves us from that, but... If we get raiders from multiple directions that are just dumb sappers, that's going to get hairier. Yeah, we'll sort something out. I think we got that organized just about right. Everyone's in range, perfect. Oh, they're not actually attacking the turret. That... That's good for us. That means we don't have to replace it, though... Mm, we might get a little bit of splash damage on it from the uh, minigun blasts. Come on. You know you want to. Come into the fields of fire. Of course, the moment they're trying to leave, they're killing our doors. Stop that. Just die already. Although I suppose we'll kill our doors ourselves if we're not careful. Alright, we managed to save both of our doors that they tried to destroy, and a bunch of them tried to flee this way, but no, no. That's enough. We'll get our repairs started, and you know what? We're gonna get our steel started too. Well, tidying up and getting ready for the final stages of this episode, there's been an attack. And it's part of that quest to compensate the defense. And you know what? It didn't happen on our new tile, it's happened on our old base tile. Uh, that means these... How many is there? Jesus Christ. 438. This is almost a normal-sized raid for us. Actually, tiny little bit small. Tiny bit small. Uh, this is going to attack our old tile, and nobody cares. So uh, do what you're going to do. In fact, I think there'll be a second one along in a bit. Actually, I do care a little bit. It's going to slow down the game an awful lot. Plus, I was worried we didn't have these defenses quite completed, though I thought we'd be... We'd get it done in time, roughly. And you... you... Why don't you just finish the construction while you're there? I mean, you're right beside us. Yep, there you go. And once they're done with that... Yeah, I think it's about time we started part two of our plan. Now, part two. First of all, let's get rid of all of the wild steel lying about the place. There is 51 steel left in the map. Oh, 32. No, no, no. Get rid of it all. So all of that steel is being taken off map with iron there. And then we're going to get them to dump it. No, wait, don't worry. I haven't gone completely crazy. Uh, Aaron, you can come back in now. Alright, all the steel we get from now on is going to be created the natural way. Harvested from our enemy's cold, dead hands. 
Then we can scrap it up and make steel out of it, and then that steel can be used properly. Like getting your hands on blood steel and making sure all of your steel is blood steel, a little bit tricky. As well as that, we have a sustainable food source, we have a sustainable fuel for our energy requirements, and we have a sustainable steel source. In fact, we can then turn that steel into components. So I think we're well on the way to actually having a nice sustainable base right about now. Oh look, it's the second part of that quest. Uh, jump to location. Yeah, no one cares. You do whatever you want here. The other team uh, have actually burnt down a bunch of stuff and decided to run away. Just go smash up whatever you're like. Oh, skull left behind. Completely forgot about that. We must have left one of those skull pods. Cargo pods. Oh. Oh wait, this isn't to do with the quest. It's a bunch of wooden visage masks. Well, you can keep them. And that reminds me, research screen. We have not been researching in a while. Well, we have. We've knocked out pianos, which reminds me, we need to build one of those in the main main hall. It would just be nice. I think we'll grab bioregeneration while we're here, but I'm not sure it's necessary for our colony. All right, steel production has started. That is all 100% blood steel. No, no, no normal steel will be allowed in our base. We can finally start on some of the late game upgrades I've been meaning to do to this base, now that we have the proper material to do so. Our pawn, Sean Biog, has arrived over here at whatever this place is called, Godliness. Uh, we do want to trade there. Unfortunately, we're going to get them to bring back a lot of stuff, and they're probably going to get ambushed for that, so... We're going to wait till Tessex is fully recharged, or at least has 70% Psy focus so that we can jump to their aid again if we need to. If we don't, great, but if we do, it would be better to have the charge ready to go. They're at 58% now, give them another day and they should be good to go. Uh, unfortunately, no one, none of his relatives have shown up. If we check under social, Tessex has not lost a single relative so far. That's amazing. If one of their relatives do show up, we do have to kill them though and stick them in a sarcophagus so they can increase their, their meditation speed. Oh, and over here, we're just about scrapping the last of all the spears and steel things that came along. I think, I think we're going to do another smelter. We can afford it. How much steel we got? Yeah, I already put down an extra power plant as well. But if we put, say, one right there, I'm thinking four smelters and the extra power plant we got over there that should support it all. We should be able to smelt up pretty much everything they throw at us and turn it all into steel. In our next raid, things get even better for Lenodrio or whatever their name is. Their grandfather and great-grandfather have arrived to rescue them. Yeah, we're gonna kill, like, your entire family at this rate. All right, everyone, start manning the kill box. Or kill octagon thingy, whatever we've decided to call it. The game is crawling. This is it at normal speed. Well, at double speed. Uh, let's try speeding that up a bit. Wow, it does not like what's going on here at all. We have only, if we look at our enemies here, eh, where is it? Come on. 452 enemies on this tile. But that's not the only tile we've got enemies on. We've actually got enemies on this tile as well. And numbers wise, we're looking at 224. Yeah, so we've got almost 700 enemies running around the world. And the game is just, oh, it is crying so hard right now. That little pop out trick is an absolute lifesaver. The moment they get in range of that turret, they just all start popping out of each other. Even though the turret can't hit them and they have no intention of hitting the turret, this is a life-saving mechanic in situations like these. I love when you push things just to the edge, you learn just new things about the game that you never thought you'd need to know, but that, that is a vitally important thing I never knew I needed to know that is absolutely life-saving, and I'm going to integrate that into future killbox designs. Because you put those in early, you can cause them to pop out of each other and save yourself an awful lot of hassle. Anyway. Yeah, uh, we're missing one person. Light wave. Come on, hurry up. Oh, and I should probably activate that uh, Paul there. Paul, marksmanship command. Thank you very much. I don't want everyone shooting at optimum. Now, let's take a quick inventory of our people here while they slowly file into our kill box. Yeah, they're having difficulty getting through there. I think it's the terrain affordance that's messing them up. Yeah, there's marsh water there. Yeah, there's marsh. I don't, can they walk across marsh? Or maybe they just really, really don't want to. But this is what's causing them all to just pop in and out of each other. Oh well. What's more important is numbers. Let's have a quick look here. How are we doing on human-like kills? Well, Carol in the lead with 385. Seriously, Carol, stop hogging everyone. Leave someone, leave, leave, leave some for the newbies so they get a chance to shoot someone. Jesus Christ. And the only people who don't haven't hit the Centurion mark are Miko and Suborbital. Also Alvarez, but Alvarez has got a charge rifle. Should we, should we up Alvarez, upgrade Alvarez to a minigun? I mean, they were always temporary, but at this point, I mean, should we just leave them with a charge rifle? It's definitely hurting their kill chances, though. The decreased range is definitely helping. Maybe give them an assault rifle and see if that makes any difference. 
Yeah, yeah, who knows? Anyway, let's just skip this forward a bit after we finished harvesting our new crop. I think that's a good point to make the cut today. We've finally stabilized, from what I can tell. Okay, we're not completely out of the woods. Maybe Randy will find something crazy to show that is next. But I think we've got food, fuel, power, and steel sorted for the foreseeable future. I think we're finally ready to just start finishing off the colony. Now, mm, there is a bit of an annoyance thing here. There's all this uh, soft soil down here, and if we try to put down moisture pumps, it will take literally a year to clear out this area. It will be a year cleaning this place out, and I'm not sure... I'm not sure we can stay here that long, namely because what, we're up to 2,800 corpses, but uh, at the same time, when it comes to our colonists here, how many people can they kill? Wow, Carol's just bro broken the 400 mark. Damn, okay, we should probably get Alvarez at least an assault rifle or something, but we'll make it all out of blood steel. But I'm thinking I'll probably install the Minify mod or something and just move a moisture pump around just to, to get those walls done, just so we can get them finished off. I'd like to turn this whole bla base into just like a jade palace. We're already up to how much jade? 332. Actually, yeah, we can see it over here. There's a whole bunch of jade and we've got 10 grand in silver. We might want to do something with that. And uh, we're up to 60 steel, though we'll definitely have more in a bit. It was just a case of I spent all of the steel we recently got on another electric smelter and a chem fuel generator. But I'm thinking we're going to be moving up in the world. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck.